Hello again. I'm here today to do a quick, super quick uh, tutorial video on how to set up a Nikon D850 to do back button autofocus. So there's just a couple of settings you need to set up in the camera and then you'll be dialed in to use back button autofocus. If you don't know what that is, um, you should be using it. It's super awesome, super powerful, and um, I use it 100% of the time. So uh, both on my Nikon system and on my Fuji cameras as well. It's uh, it, for my situation, and I think for most people, it's probably the best way to go with um, setting up your autofocus system. So uh, I'll show you how to set that up real quick on the D850, and uh, then you'll be all set to go. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, you're going to want to Use this button over here, make sure you're in autofocus and not in manual. And then you're going to press and hold that button in. And then on the top screen here, you're going to want to see where it says AFS or AFC. That's single servo mode or continuous servo. You're going to leave this in AFC all the time. And then you can scroll through all the different continuous focus modes. So I generally keep mine on dynamic nine point, but I'm searching them, you know, I use a bunch of different ones. So I'm cycling through quite a bit depending on the situation. So once you've got that set up, there's a couple of things you need to change in the menu. So we'll go ahead and uh, open up the menu and we're going to want to go down to the custom settings menu, go over to autofocus. We're going to go down to A8, AF activation. I have it set to off, and that's where you want it. By default, it's set up here to shutter and AF on, and that means it's going to auto focus with the press of the shutter button or with the press of the AF on button. That's not what we want. We only want to focus when we're pressing this AF on button. Okay, so we're going to set that to be off. Okay, we have to change another setting here we are going to get down to the controls. Uh, custom control assignment there, F1, and then the AF on button, we want to map to be the actual AF on. So that, that's actually by default, but we have to make sure that that's set up there because you could program that button to do a lot of different things, but you want to make sure that's set to AF on. Uh, I also like to do another custom setting, and that's this one right here, this sub-selector button, which is right next to the AF on, right up here. I like to make this a second autofocus button. So I'd make this be AF on, but in group area mode. So I set it to be just group area mode and AF on. So whatever I have this set, like if you... Just a minute ago, you saw I have it set to dynamic nine point, and I'll move that around a lot, depending on the situation. But I have this here as kind of my quick button to, when I, I can autofocus with this instead of with this. And this is going to only use the group mode, and it's gonna act like the AF on button, but only with the group mode, and I can't change it. So I use that a lot for uh, like birds. If I'm shooting a bird and I need a, a small point to be able to focus right on its eye, and I'm using that with the AF on button to focus on its eye, but then it's about to take flight. I'll just bump down right here and use this as my AF on because I use the group area, and then I can track that bird immediately. I don't have to scroll through the different modes to reprogram my AF mode. So that's super handy. I use both of those as AF on, okay? So that's, that's also in these uh, custom controls here, and down here, Whoops, sorry. I just program that button, autofocus area mode and AF on. Okay, and you can put that on whatever area mode you happen to want to program that to. I like the group area mode. Okay, uh, so once you've got that, that's it. You're done, you're ready for, um, for back button autofocus. Uh, if you already are using it, awesome. I use it all the time. It's the best way for me to shoot for sure, no doubt about it. 
if you're not using it yet, go ahead and try it. You know, change these settings. They're super easy to set them right back. But I think if you commit yourself to like a couple of days of just using back button autofocus, you'll be totally hooked and you'll understand why everybody's using it. So give it a shot and uh, pretty simple to set up on the D850, but hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find it helpful. Have a great day. See ya.